Hey guys, this isn't exactly how I wanted to be seeing everybody again, but here we are, okay? I'm reminded of one of my favorite bands. You know I love the music. You know I'm listening to music all the time. One of my favorite bands is the Sidewalk Prophets. And one of their songs, they remind us to always choose joy. And you know what? That's what I'm choosing to do today. I'm going to use joy. And that's my plan during this quarantine is I'm going to choose joy joy. I'm filled with joy today because I get to communicate with you guys. I get to communicate with my students who are my favorite people in the world, okay? Um, we are living in a time when I can communicate with you. Just think, when I was growing up, <laughs> a long time ago, but when I was growing up, my friends, this wouldn't have been possible. We would have been completely shut down from each other. And you know what? I'm thankful today and I'm joyful today that I can get information out to you guys. I can keep you on track to get those threes, those fours, those fives on the AP exam. And so that's what we're about today. Um, and so um, for those of you, Matt Robinson, those of you who are pointing out that I'm extremely old because of that, well, you're right, okay, but stop it. Okay, so here's what we need to, here's what we know at this point, okay? At this point, the college board looks to have no plans to move the testing dates, okay? That's the bad news. The bad news is it doesn't look like they have any uh, flexibility um, because, let's face it, we've got to get the, they've got to get them graded, they've got to get the scores returned to you, and you've got to be able to turn those scores around, seniors especially, to get those to colleges so that they know here's what classes you need to be taking. So there's not a lot of flexibility with the college board. However, what we're hearing today is they are working on plans for schools impacted, LP High School maybe, okay, uh, for schools impacted by this, for students who are maybe still at home uh, during, this, uh, during this first week or second week of May to be able to take the exam at home, okay? So because of that, that, that shows me they're pretty serious about we're not changing these dates if they're going to try and figure out a way for you to take the, t the exams at home. Therefore, we've got to figure out a way to get you prepared, to get you ready to go, so that you go into that exam and go five, all right? Because that's what we're looking for, threes, fours, fives. So let's, let's go ahead and... Um, each of my classes is a little bit different, and so I'm going to approach them each differently here in, in the video, um, but I'm going to do it all in one video because, let's face it, I'm, I'm lazy and I want to be able to watch some Star Wars today, and so um, I'm going to do one video, edit that video, and then um, you just got to find your parts in the video, and then I'll wrap it up at the end with a little bit for everybody, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, my A-Push kids. Um, just give you a little bit of logistics of what's going on, uh, what Mr. Woods and I have, have planned for you. Um, you know how much I love this class, um, from giving Matt a hard time, from giving Brian a hard time, from giving Odin a hard time, uh, from giving Eric a hard time. Um, I miss everybody, even Colton. He, I mean, it's, it's it, who, who would have thought, right? But even Cole, I, I miss it. I miss all of you guys, all right? And I just want to know that we're taking care of you. Mr. Woods and I are working hard to make sure that you are taken care of and that we get some A-Push content out to you guys because, let's face it, you've worked your butts off this year. You deserve to be able to take that exam and show them what you know, okay? And so we're going to make sure that you have that opportunity. So here's what I need you to do. A-Push. Um, Please take a moment this morning and join our new A-Push Google Classroom page. We're going to consolidate with Mr. Wood's six-hour A-Push class. We're all going to be under one, so that way we can both get information out to you guys, uh, rather than both of us doing the same exact thing uh, all day long, okay? So the new code is QD4GMVA. qd 4 gm V A. I'm going to send that out in your email as well. Make sure that you guys have that. But we need you to sign up for that as soon as possible. Mr. Woods is already posting some things in there for us. Um, in addition, so we're going to have you guys kind of following along on, on in, the, in the Google Classroom. Uh, Mr. Woods has some lectures. His, all of his lecture notes, he's added stuff to so that um, the stuff that you might have missed in lecture, he's going to jump it in there uh, so that you have that for, uh, um in your, in your PowerPoints. Uh, in addition, make sure you have your Cornell notes with you as you're reading through the notes to make sure that you're adding things in there that you know what's going on, that you can kind of figure these things out. Uh, make sure a push that you're looking at the home front stuff. We hadn't covered that yet. Uh, and so make sure that you're hitting that. And of course, make sure you're emailing me with questions, comments, etc. I'll, I'll always hear for you guys, okay? Um, 
in addition, next Tuesday, uh, I want to check in with you guys. Um, Mr. Woods has got you in his hands, and he's, he's, he's a good guy, and he's got a good, uh, um, a good program set up. But I want to check in on you guys myself because you're mine, okay? You belong to me. You're my students. And so I want to check in with you guys using a program called Zoom, Z-O-O-M. Uh, and to do so, it's super easy. You can use it from a computer, from a phone, from a tablet. Uh, but I want to check in with you guys kind of one-on-one, um, face to face and so um, I'll be using the program zoom um, and like I said super easy to do to use uh, if you're able to uh, before then uh, I got messages coming in all over the place from the school right now this is the teacher's life right now huh uh, and so um, uh, here, here's what we if you're able to please get on your computer get on your phone get on your tablet whatever device you're gonna use next week and um, just check out the program zoom if you if you're on a, a device that you can download the the app do that it's much easier than, than the computer if you're on the computer they're gonna ask you to install something it's two minutes maybe it's less than two minutes okay it's a quick 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 um, thing to get that onto your computer so go ahead and take care of that for me and I'll send you guys the the join code um, later uh, and then if you can email me um, before Monday of next week with what time works on Tuesday uh, I'm thinking 10 a.m. I'm thinking 10 a.m. is a nice easy time um, you don't have to you don't have to set an alarm for 10 a.m. well Eric probably does but the rest of it we don't have to set an alarm for 10 a.m. Um, we're up we, we can you, you can be ready to go, etc. And we can we can log in. You'll be able to see me. You'll be able to hear me. And then you'll be able to uh, type in questions, type in uh, comments, etc. And we can just kind of check in with each other, make sure that we're all on the same page, make sure we're all moving towards that three, four, five. All right. Hey, push. You got this. You got this. All right. AP Gov, my animals. All right. Here's a plan, my friends. Um, we're gonna do the most work with with you guys online. Um, we need to get. Um, a substantial amount of content still to you guys and um, before we do that what I want to do is I want to make sure we nail the stuff that we've already done okay that's what's important to me because we've only got two units left okay and then the little bit about civil rights which is super easy uh, MLK and board of Brown versus board phew, we're gonna be we're gonna fly through that but what I want to do is I want to go back and I want to pick up the court cases I want to pick up the founding documents so I want to make sure that we nail court, uh, FRQ 3 and the argumentative essay. So that's what I'm going to work on over the next two weeks with you guys, okay? Uh, so no new content with the exception of um, two more court cases. I'm going to go, briefly go through them, Brown versus Board and Citizens United. Uh, I'm also going to uh, introduce and talk a lot about uh, MLK's letters from a Birmingham jail uh, so that we are up to date, we are ready to go um, for, um, for FRQs 3, FRQs 4. Um, that way you get... 50% of the multiple choice, but then you get you just nailed both of those uh, those essays. Pfft, you're in threes already, my friends. And so we want to make sure that we're ready to go. And that's the plan for the next two weeks. And so uh, it might sound like a lot. It might sound like a little. I don't know. But here's my plan set up for you guys. Uh, we're going to start tomorrow. Um, and I have 45-minute um, sessions planned for us, okay? Not asking you to do any note-taking. Not asking you to do any uh, reading in the book. I'm not asking you to do any reading questions or one-pagers or anything like that. I'm asking you to tune in 10 a.m. on tomorrow, on Thursday, and on Friday, and then next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So six times, like I said, it might seem like a lot. But I'm not asking you to do actual work. I'm asking you to tune in and get the information and then participate in the chat. It's all I'm asking from you guys, all right? And so um, please try to do that. Uh, we're going to use, just like if you, you heard me talking about uh, a push, we're going to use Zoom, Z-O-O-M. So again, I'm going to ask you to try and get to um, the App Store or Google Shops or whatever it's called. I don't do Google. I, I don't know. But whatever. Uh, get on there. Get that downloaded onto your phones, onto your tablets, or onto your computers so that you can uh, follow along with us. Um, and so uh, it's a terrific tool. It's super easy to use. Like I said, you won't, I won't be able to hear you. I won't be able to see you. Nobody else will. Uh, the only time we can communicate, you'll be able to communicate is through the chat. Okay, so you just type in your questions, type in your answers, etc. cetera. Uh, and I'll be the one on camera. I'll be the one talking to you. Okay, so just be like school and everything, except it's not at all like school. Uh, so um, you're going to get a Google Doc from me later today with... Here's what times everything is. Here's the codes to get into the chats. 
as well as um, here's what we're going to cover in those chats uh, each day. Monday, like I said, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week, 10 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday next week, 10 a.m. Now, I understand that there's going to be people who cannot, just cannot make it at those times. And with 65 uh, AP Gov students, it's going to happen. And so uh, I'm going to do my very best to record the sessions so that you can check them out later. Okay. And then I'm also going to, if you are somebody who uh, we start working and this stream is just too much for your internet, I know that some of you are just using phones with cellular data and stuff. Um, the, the program does really good about keeping the bandwidth down. But if you live in the country, things happen, okay? And so I understand that. So if you are struggling, it's not working for you, uh, let me know uh, individually through email and I will do something to make sure that you get the same information. Uh, it might be an activity, it might be uh, a reading, something, but I wanna make sure that you are keeping up. That's not your fault that, the, that your internet is running slow or anything like that. But make sure that you're communicating with me so I know that I can take care of you, okay? AP Gov, you're good to go. AP Kogo, um, you guys are good to go, all right? Uh, I am all set up for you guys. Um, we're gonna use Zoom, but only once. Uh, I wanna check in next week on Thursday morning, 10 a.m. Um, we're gonna just check in and see how things are going. Um, but before that, in your Google Classroom, uh, I'm gonna drop today uh, the reading questions for China, the reading questions for Iran, the uh, videos for Russia, China, and Iran. You already have the reading questions for uh, Russia. Um, these reading questions, except for Russia, because those were assigned last week, don't try and get away with nothing. But the reading questions for China, the reading questions for Iran, completely 100% optional. You do not have to do them, but they're there to kind of focus if you choose to be reading in the book, which I hope that you are. And they'll also hopefully focus your uh, watching of the videos um, with me online. Um, over the next week. So just kind of be able to breeze through the, the, the reading questions and say, okay, here's what I'm looking for because the reading questions are supposed to give you uh, kind of some guidance of what to be looking for. Um, so um, that's it. That's, that's, that's it, my friends. And so but if we can bring all um, three, APUSH, APGOV, and APCOGO back together. My friends, I know this isn't ideal for any of us, um, but you know I'm with you. You know that there's no way I'm going to let this virus to get, keep us from getting our threes, our fours, our fives on the AP exam. You were too damn hard to get this, okay? And I'm going to make sure that you get it. Um, stick with me. We're gonna we're gonna do this. We're we're gonna we're gonna see some amazing scores, and you're gonna look back and say, "Look what we did," and we did it together, okay? Uh, I'm really trying not to ask a lot of any of my classes right now. I'm just asking you to do enough to stay on board to stay up to date. Um, I'm hoping that you're gonna step up and do your side of the work so that we're ready come May 4th and May 12th and May whatever the dates are. May 4th I know is the first one because it's May the 4th and that's a special day in my life. Of course you know that. I'm here from you along the way and that is a promise. Um, I'm gonna do whatever I can so please reach out to me. Now, I've made a commitment to myself, my friends. I'm usually available to you 24 hours a day, that kind of thing, but because I know some people are going to be doing this at different times of the day, uh, I feel like I'm going to get attacked with emails and stuff at all hours of the night and stuff. And so uh, I am going to only respond to emails between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. Okay, and so I'm not going to be jumping in and trying to get all this information to you guys overnight and stuff. Okay, now I've had a couple other logistical things that I want to talk about real quick, super easy. Um, people have emailed me about test corrections, people have emailed me about late work, people have emailed me about blah 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 blah, blah all this stuff. Okay, first off, all of that is going to be available when we come back. Okay, test corrections, especially, I want to hold off on until uh, we come back from. Uh, on the 31st, which is my, my hope, my dream. We're back on the 31st. If we are not back on the 31st, I will come up with a plan for you guys to be able to do test corrections at home. Quizzes and test retakes, or not take out, so makeup tests, okay? For those, I want you to, again, wait until that 31st. If we are not back, I'm gonna set up a plan individually with you guys and you will be able to take those. But I wanna wait, I wanna to try to preserve for both of those, um, I wanna be able to preserve the integrity of the tests, the integrity of the quizzes, and make sure that you are able to do those uh, in the atmosphere that you are more uh, likely to do well. And then, um, 
Uh, I've also had a lot of people emailing me about Link Crew, which is awesome. I, I love you, my, my friends. Um, obviously, we're moving the deadline. It's supposed to be this Friday for Link Crew applications. We're moving those uh, back, and we, we haven't even thought about what the date's going to be, but we're going to give you time to get those applications in. Do not stress about that. We'd love to have you guys. So. Um, just a little bit of logistical stuff. And then finally, makeup work. If you are somebody who needs to make up uh, one-pagers, um, feel free to do so and snap a picture of them and send them to me. Uh, if you are somebody who needs to make up uh, reading questions, go ahead and do so. And if you are somebody who is um, just turning in late work, um, please feel free to do so. Um, I'm, I'm available. I can get that stuff graded and I can get that grade uh, altered for you here from home. But make sure you email me if you do anything like that so I can know to go in and check it out for you. Okay? So finally, I just want to give a shout out to my friend Emily and Fifth Hour uh, AP Gov, um, a Fifth Hour AP Gov for posting how she's having fun each day on Twitter. Okay, I asked my friends to do this starting on Saturday of last week. I've been posting, here's what I'm doing to try and have some fun at home. Friends, it's so important to have fun right now. You've got to, you've got to, t you can't take things too seriously. You got to have some fun. And so what I'm going to do is I'm up in the ante a little bit. I'm going to, um, Emily, I'm going to make sure that you get a, a small prize for what you're doing out there already. But now I'm opening it up to everybody. Okay, we're going to use, um, we're going to use Twitter. Uh, I want to see from as many people as possible. What are you doing to have some fun during this crazy, stupid time that we're living in, all right? You're all barricaded up in the house. What are you doing to have some fun? So tag me in your tweets. Use the hashtag gotta have fun pick, and um, you'll be eligible to win a couple prizes here as, as the week goes on. Uh, I've got some random prizes to give out, the stuff that I can give out through the internet, so don't worry. You'll, you'll get your prizes almost immediately. Uh, Emily will be watching for your prize in your email tomorrow, okay? Uh, so don't miss out. Uh, keep checking your emails. Um, you're going to get more information on classes as well as I got a little something planned for the end of the week. And I think we're going to have a little bit of fun with that if you can participate. And my friends, mental health is too important to not participate. So let's go and have some fun. So you've got this, my friends. I love you. I miss you. And we are in this together, even though they tried to rip us apart. Be well. Wash your hands. Social distance. I'll see you soon.